is Marty McSorley. Oh, Ooh. boy. Look Duck. at that. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. World, yeah, world class. Speaking of pud wax, there's Marty McSorley. Yeah. Uh, what, do you want, what do you have to say about Marty McSorley? Definitely that type of guy that you hated him until he was on your team. Uh, you know, he uh, old school hockey player. Textbook enforcer. Yeah, old school, came from a different era, uh, tough as nails, not the smartest hockey player to ever put on a pair of skates. My, my favorite part about him was the, oh, geez, that's really loud. Uh, the light blue shirt he'd wear underneath his jersey. A that lot of hockey players always, wore that. Always came. You know, Eisenman always wore always that. Uh, yeah, a lot of guys wore that blue. I I looked up what that was once. I and Is I forget it what like it was. Some sort of like early uh, compression it, shirt, maybe. It wasn't compression, no, but I think it, it just was like <laughs> compression in the eighties. It was like sweat absorbing, or there was something to it. Someone. Has to know in the chat. It was made, uh, you want it was so made of cocaine. Nineteen ninety <laughs> uh, hockey card upper deck. Nineteen ninety one. I believe those. Do are you want to guess at that point the career high in penalty minutes for Marty McSorley? Oh yes. Now how uh, many seasons in is this? This would be his fourth season. Would be his career high. Eighty eight, eighty nine with the Kings. Uh, sixty six games. Sixty six games. Yeah. He probably had two thirty. Four hundred and ten. <laughs> uh, Three fifty. Wow. Yeah. That's 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 what six penalty minutes a night almost. Yeah, I mean, in this he was. You when you talk about protecting the stars, he was side by side, not side by side on a line with him, but he was always with Wayne Gretzky. Interesting, he went from Edmonton to L.A. I think mm. Gretzky was. Uh, yeah, he wanted him he there. He wanted him there because he knew, hey, this guy's on my wing. No one's effing with me. Yes, and exactly. he was right. Char Charlie still has the blue undershirt. How about that? Nice. That does not surprise me. Here, why no, don't you, not. How about you put the card uh, upside down next to the other one? That, that way, when we go back to card camp for the next card, we'll be able to see that and the next card, which is, oh, yes. Bob Asenza. Bob Asenza. Bob Asenza. Wow. That's I a, love that name. I, now, I believe, did I have, what did, was he in like uh, NHL 94? Or is it, I mean, this is 90, but was he still Yeah, playing? he played for a while. Yeah, he was in those games. He bounced around a bit, oh, too. Uh, Jets. Jets, I believe he he made the trip to Arizona. Wasn't he the first Arizona goalie? That's a good question. I don't, uh, I don't have a ton of like game memories of him. Uh, I just feel like he was. I just remember him being around. You know, like oh yeah, because he had an interesting name. Yeah, the name definitely. Like when you get that card, that name. All right, you're uh, like, Winnipeg, Bob Detroit for a year. Edmonton, Phoenix, Vancouver, Buffalo. Yeah, he okay. played in uh, his nine. 1999 would be the inaugural year for the Coyotes. Well, yeah, see, Windy City saying mm. Hobby Bullen was the inaugural, which I, I actually, that was my Yeah, if he, if he went from Winnipeg to Detroit, and then, yeah, he, there were a couple stops in between. He didn't go. Okay. The, no, 99 was not the What was their first year? 90. What was the year that Rona got traded? That was 96. their first year. Yes. Yeah. 96. Man. There you that go. Me. All right. Uh, let's see. Who is next? Got another earler. Adam Graves. Adam okay. Graves, he's a good player. He was a really Ooh, good player. Uh, I like the back of the. I always think of him as a card. ranger. Let's move these guys in more. I like the back of the Ascenza card. That overhead camera shot. Upper Deck used to know how to make a. Make Upper a card. Deck was the best. I remember when Upper Deck came out with baseball in '89, and yeah. we were all just like blown away. The Ken Griffey card, and we were all Which like, "We thought it was a dollar for a pack. What's going on <laughs> here?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then you opened it, and you were like, "Oh, these are awesome! The little hologram, yeah. the photos on the back and in the front, the the photo." Yeah, the stock. little hologram was awesome. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Adam uh, Graves, I Adam think Graves. of him as a Ranger. Yeah, I forgot he was an Oiler, but yeah, Adam Graves, uh, part of that. Uh, Do you remember him as a Red Wing? 94 Rangers team that f won the Cup. Three years in Detroit, right before I became a hockey fan. I have no recollection of that. Yeah, I don't remember that either. He played, uh, what, this is 70-some uh, games with the Red Wings over three years. Was huh. not quite the player. At this point, this is actually a pretty good reference, like, Adam Graves would be 22. Is that right? Yeah. In 1990. And only had 14 points his first three years. His fourth year with the Oilers, he had 21 points. Yeah, this guy year, turned into a stud hockey yeah, player. Yeah, the year uh, they won the Cup, 93-94, he scored 52 goals. Yep. Prospects take time, they no do. matter the era. Uh, 
He was with the Red Wings and was, oh, look at this. We, he was traded to the Oilers with Peter Klima, Joe Murphy, Jeff Sharples. That's a great name. <laughs> uh, for Jimmy Carson and Kevin McClellan, Jimmy Carson was the like main pe- would turn out to be the one of the yeah main pieces in the Wayne Gretzky trade, and then signed with uh, the Rangers as a free agent. Graves was a second round pick, twenty second overall. So in these days, a first round pick. Yes. Ugh. See, this is why I can't root for the Dallas Stars. I hated the Minnesota North Stars. Yeah. Aaron Broughton, the lesser of the Broughtons. Yeah, second best Broughton. A. A. Ron Broughton. <laughs> I have no thoughts on this guy at all. I don't remember him being a player. <laughs> although, otherwise, he was given a chance to play hockey because he was Neil Broughton's who's brother. The, but who's number 39 dude in the background? played 748 NHL games. Who's this number 39 in the background? Other card. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to look at it. That is Wilkinson? Sure. Eh, Wilkinson, the dick. Uh, I assume I hated him. Yeah, uh, not a bad career for Aaron Broughton. 748 games over 12 seasons, 186 goals, 515 points. Yeah. He had one, two, three seasons of over 20 goals, back-to-back 26-goal seasons for the Devils. So not a terrible player. No. Nope. More than just Neil's little brother in our face. Yeah, take that. Next. All right, next up. Paul Who? Reinhardt. Who is that? Who? Is that Sam's dad? I don't know. I got nothing for you on uh, Paul Reinhardt. You just picked that because of the uniform, right? 100%. I didn't pick anything. It was handed a stack. No, I'm well, talking to Lawrence. I mean, I'll admit I wanted a Canuck in there because I love this era of Canuck. He was jerseys. a first-round pick, 12th overall, defenseman. But now Played with the Kitchener Rangers. He is Sam and Max and Griffin's father. I knew it. There you Wait, go. Wait, so that's Sam Reinhardt's dad. Yes, it Sam is. Reinhardt's, the soon-to-be very rich Sam Reinhardt's yeah. dad. Uh, Soon to get somebody fired, Sam Reinhardt. Yeah, uh, pretty good career with the Atlanta slash Calgary Flames and then two seasons with the Canucks. 648 career games. For a defenseman, pretty good numbers. 133 goals, 426 assists, 559 points. In 648 games for a defenseman. That's not bad. Is that his final career totals? Yes. So this is his last, last card. card. Yeah, because yep. 89-90 was his last season as a 30-year-old. Well, let's, don't don't uh, bend that card, Jay. That could be worth it. a collector's item. Maybe or- Sam will give you $3 million for it next year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll be able to afford, afford it. it. Here is Randy Cunnyworth. Hell yes. Uh, Randy the worst name ever. Oh, I love that Former guy's name. Uh, Montreal Canadiens head coach, I believe. Got ran out of town because he couldn't speak French. Well, that's tough to do. And look at that jersey, Canada. God damn, best Rand- thing Randy I've ever Cunningworth seen. sounds like like a character from Dukes of Hazard. Uh, I don't. See- oh yeah, here head coach. Yeah, he was uh, one season in Montreal. Played on the Hawks briefly, ninety three, ninety four. Sixteen games for the Hawks, four goals and seven points. Hey, we could have used him last year. Really. We had guys that didn't even do that in 82 games. <laughs> this guy, this next guy, I have no idea. Who is it? David Volek. David Volek. I think he was a hawk at one point, wasn't he? You're thinking of Doug Zmolek. That's who I am <laughs> thinking of. Yeah, know. I don't know. This is just a random. Girl number four. Random Islander. I Doug Zmolek. I have Smolek a problem. Doug is exactly who <laughs> no. I was thinking. Uh, David Volek. Am I right about, the, about Doug Zmolek? Uh, an Islander. Career-long Islander. Uh, eh. He was all right. Yep, number four. I have 249 <laughs> points in 396 <laughs> games for the Islanders. As a winger. Well, screw him. Czechoslovakia. Oh. Uh, well. Josh says Volek got the game seven goal against the Pens in 93. All right. Uh, yeah, I do remember that. That is his claim to fame. Oh, AJ, yes. AJ also knows this. Yes. That was like nice. the most See? unexpected guy. All right, there you go. There's, yeah. I believe if we ask Mark Lazarus about that, I believe his dad has a funny story about that. Or really? Something. We'll have to. All right. I'm sure Mark's dying to come out with us. Le- Lebowski, uh, these are super deep cuts. I, I agree. I just grabbed. Yeah, like the deep cards. cuts are fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who who wants to see a Wayne Gretzky card? We all know about yeah. him. I want right. to see David I, Volick for crying out loud. All right, I who's mean, next? My wallet might, but I don't Stephane know. Lebeau. Oh. Stephane Lebeau. The most Montreal Canadian's name oh. of all time. <laughs> Jacques Lebleu, it's Stephane Lebeau. 
I don't know who he is. He was fine. I don't he have was many. One of many Stefans. I don't have many for. memories of him. Just kind of a dude. Uh, played for a while. Played uh, Anaheim and Montreal. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, six, he had a thirty-one goal season for the Canadians. Seven in NHL seasons. The year they went to the Stanley Cup final and lost, uh, beat the Wayne Gretzky and the Kings. He had thirty-one goals and eighty points. That's not bad. And then uh, barely had thirty-one goals the rest of his career. All right, we got two more to go. Rick Wamsley. Look at that. No idea. <laughs> I was hoping that was Mike Vernon for a second. I totally remember this guy's name. I don't know. Anything love the about uniform. Him. The uniform's awesome. The helmet looks great. I love the like the yellow Rick like. Wamsley. Uh, well, the great wiring. thing about hockey cards, like at least collecting back then, was like you just knew guys because you had their card. Right? Yeah. That's how you found out about dudes. It was then before, later it was NHL it was video '94. Games, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's how I found out about a ton of the hockey players. Well, this yeah. guy wasn't was too era. shabby. Like uh, 407 career games as a goalie. Oh, who's the guy on the Sabres I'd always put in? Save percentage not when, great. No, well, but he also played in an era where nobody's save percentage That's was true. very good. Uh, 204 wins with an 881 save percentage, so he got some goal support. Yeah. Uh, Canadians, like Blues, <laughs> Flames, and Maple Leafs. Doesn't appear that he was ever really a starter, though. Like, we have these random connections of these random guys, like it's Reinhardt's dad. Uh, now, uh, Chad, the guy, he's uh, the, the Utah local that's jumped in today. He said LeBeau's brother played for the Salt Lake Golden Eagles. There you go. <laughs> Who knew? Everyone knows that, Chad. <laughs> that's crazy. Tell us something yeah. we don't know. Also, I, there's no such thing as bad ham, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Illinois pork producers. All right, we got one more. You may have heard of this feller. Yeah, this I did pick this one Hang on wait. purpose. It's just stuck together. You. Why did you do that, Lawrence? Wait, what happened? You really liked Rick Wamsley. You really like oh. Card Friday. I love Rick Wamsley. There he is. Gramps, Steve Larmer. There he is, our guy. Yeah. That's a nice looking Voted card. Voted the number yeah. one late round Blackhawks draft pick yeah. on yesterday's show. That's fun. Nate, Nate uh, says they sell packs of these right now at the uh, Gunzos. Let's go, I'm Nate. almost out of 90s hockey cards for my TikTok account, so we may have to do some business. I'm oh, not, yeah. You haven't done that in a while. I haven't done that in a while. I still have... Maybe 15 packs left from that stash. I'm going to start doing that again. Uh, now that's off season, I have time. I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I'll do some open some packs this weekend. I like the double feature too on the yeah. upper deck where there's yeah. another picture on the back. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. And yeah, great composition on that that the cover of that card. The yeah, way it's kind of angled across there. But yeah, yeah, they the upper deck did a always do an awesome job. Beautiful. <laughs> 